right, so here's a look at some of the Queen Anne's lace I got growing around the edges of my property. And somehow it evades the mower and it gets just deep enough inside the tree line where it just thrives. Now, some of this might not be Queen Anne's lace and some of it might be carrot. And the way I, that I could tell is that with Queen Anne's lace, you have a little thing in the middle. That's Queen Anne's lace. But some of these might be carrot, and the reason why I say that is I do spread seeds around on my property, carrot seeds, but the excess ones. So we'll walk around and see if we can identify Queen Anne's lace. And I think right here, is a good example of Queen Anne's lace. Did Queen actually use this for lace? That's the question I have for you. Did she really use this for lace? But if you look right there, you see that little purple thing right there? That is how you tell Queen Anne's lace from everything else general sometimes the smaller plants won't sometimes put those out like you see there's like small little flowers right there they may not put them out but once they get a little bigger to a certain size they will get that little tiny purple flower in the middle right there see if we can pick that off see that little tiny flower now this is partially edible you can't eat some of this I don't generally uh, eat it unless I have to, but I know you can eat certain parts of the plant. The, the umble is pretty good. You're not, I mean, unless you're starving to death, you're not really going to eat like the stem part. You could probably eat parts of the root. I never really get past the flower. You can't eat it. I'll taste a piece for you right now. It's got a very perfume chemical type of taste. It's probably more medicinal than anything. It tastes like um, turpentine. <laughs> Let me see if it's how it smells. It smells nice. It's got a nice little smell to it, but the taste isn't something that I particularly would go out of my way for, but if you had to eat it, because you were hungry or you were starving, you need to eat something. It's better to eat that than to eat something you can't identify and you're gonna die because you ate something poisonous. Now, at least you can eat this and you know you can eat something on it. Now, I wouldn't eat a lot of it, but you can eat it. So, just figured I'd share the Queen Anne's lace and the leaf. Now, some people get this confused with poison hemlock. This isn't poison hemlock, guys. The poison hemlock leaf does not look anything like that. Though it looks close, it doesn't, it's not poison hemlock. Believe me, I'll show you, I will show you poison hemlock. When I get a chance to get out where I might be able to find poison hemlock, I'll show you what poison hemlock looks like. You're gonna see that there's a huge difference. You can tell that this is not poison hemlock. It kind of has some features like it, but it's not poison hemlock. All right, so that's just a quick look at the Queen Anne's lace. If you see it in your yard, and it doesn't bother you, leave it go because the bees and the other bugs and insects will, they will definitely appreciate leaving it there because they feed on those flowers. So there's one right there. See how that bee's going to town on that flower? Man, he's getting pollen. He's getting all the pollen. Woo! Man, he's running all over that thing. He's lit up. But yeah, they, they appreciate the... the they, if you're not like going to be able to grow a lot of flowers, some of these wildflowers will definitely uh, feed the insects and the bees and the wildlife. So, all right. So that's like I say, just a quick look at the Queen Anne's lace. Uh, if you like this video, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to comment below, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.